guys, welcome to Simproved, Fry speaking here, and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. And today is a super special video because I'm having like my first guest on my channel, and it's also a collaboration with her. It's the amazing, super talented Stephanie from Simarchy. Say hello. Hi guys, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> like this is like super like weird, like for the first time, I guess. So yeah. Did you ever have like a guest on your channel in a video? I have, I have a couple times. I did one with Unigina and then Miss Griffey and I, we did a, a voice collab. So this is only my third one, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like I did this once with um, the talented Simlings, Torben his name is, and we did like a super special German video, even like we talked in German, even though his oh, channel wow. is English as well. It was really weird. But yeah, we will put all the video links we will talk about and everything in the video description down below for you guys. Of course, this is a 50 by 50 build challenge. So I will only build like 50% of the lot and then Stephanie will do the other part. And it's a, yeah, what is it actually? It's a jungle park thing. <laughs> it's a dinosaur world. It's a dinosaur lost world toddler I don't know, <laughs> something. Park. 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 <laughs> it's a park. <laughs> it's a park. It's definitely a park. It's a community lot for your Sims. And yeah, so I we had like the, the idea that when the toddler stuff came out that like everybody is going to build like a playground and it's going to be kind of boring, I guess. So we wanted to step up the building game here, guys, and um, build something, I guess, a little bit more odd or like extraordinary or something yeah just something a little bit different i think we found each other on the sims live stream the official toddler stuff and we were like hey let's do this <laughs> yeah yeah right so guys if you don't know that always if like the sims team gets out like a new pack we get we get like a live stream and the developers even show you uh what happens like in the pack and everything and yeah, it was really funny because there are always so many people like from the simming community that you basically know through the YouTube videos and everything and on Twitter. And then you are like, oh, this is so cool. We could build something together. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. I love the Sims community. Like I've met the most amazing people through this community and I've never been happier. Yeah, it's really, really cool. And they are all like, I really like that. It's like from different genders, social statuses, different countries. Oh, yeah every age group like it's really really amazing very that diverse we have, like yeah yeah i really like that it's like i always first thought it's like more of a like small girls game kind of i always thought that i'm like the only old like not old but <laughs> like in, <laughs> i put that in quotes here but like not like a i don't know 10 year old girl but i always thought that this is like the main uh i don't know uh group that plays sims i guess but i was really amazed that it's like so many different people yeah <laughs> i was amazed too i really thought the same thing and then i found out that even with just my viewers there's everyone from age 8 9 10 years old all the way up to 60 62 63 years old it's insane it boggles my mind yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really really cool yeah yeah, I really like it. So um, guys, um, just so you know, I of course did the, as you can see, the waterfall thing. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. I did it in the tropical island build. I did it in the water park build. And I thought a jungle has to have like kind of a waterfall because uh, yeah, when we both like decided to do this, we always send each other reference pictures, you know? And yeah, we kind of like the waterfall, I guess. <laughs> Your waterfall came out so amazing, like so much better than I could have even imagined in my head. And when you sent me the, or when you told me it was on the gallery for me to go ahead and download, I sent you a screenshot of my face <laughs> right after I looked at it because I could not believe it. I was like, this is amazing. I don't know how you get better and better with, with each build because it's not even possible, but you do it and you shock me. And I was like, oh my gosh, how am I going to build something to match this? <laughs> But it's going to look absolutely great, guys. And of course, you have to watch, um, yeah, your video, like Stephanie's video. And uh, yeah, it's going to be amazing. I'm really, really proud what we built here together because it's really something extraordinary, I guess. It's, um, I guess nobody else has like built something. I always like builds that nobody else has built before. That's like my, my yeah, thing. Yeah, <laughs> they're hard and to come up with sometimes, very yeah. hard. 
Yeah, 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 exactly. I always thought that there are already like everything that you can imagine has been already built, but like sometimes I find like the raw diamond. <laughs> the diamond in the rough. <laughs> <laughs> the di yeah, get, right, yeah, the diamond in the rough. So yeah, um, so if you like for the waterfalls, it's actually not that hard. It looks always that hard, but the trick is to build them from the first floor like the most top floor down oh. basically this is what i found out is like the most easiest thing to do so you just put box and box and box on, on another like room boxes and then you put like the pool in and then around the pool the uh, stones and then you go one floor down the another pool the stones delete the rest of course and then so on and so wow. on so this is the basic yeah, how i do you it build now i didn't do mine that way <laughs> I think I did mine the hard way, but yeah, you're, wow, your brain thinks so differently when it comes to this game. Yeah, I mean, I did, like, it, it took me, like, quite a time to, to come up with the idea, because I, before I did, like, the water park, I tried to build it, like, from down to, yeah. like, to up, and it didn't match up, so, um, and I run out of space, like, on the top and everything, <laughs> and then I just started to do it, like, the other way around, and it really worked. So this is just basically like experimenting a lot. I guess that I personally like spend at least like for every like more extraordinary build, I guess like one hour just testing how to, how to, just how. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> I never do that. <laughs> yeah. And then I basically, I like, I came up like with something really good and it looks already really great. And I'm like, oh, dang it. I haven't recorded this because this was just like the tests and now I have to do it all again for the recording. That's why I don't like tests. I come up with some of the best things when I'm like, I'm just going to mess around and not record yeah. it. And then I get mad at myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's also like um, you, for example, on your channel, you also do like lots of like let's plays and and cast videos. And I'm like more of a builder. And when I'm like doing a cast, like I just not, not so many cast videos, create a sim videos. And I always laugh and like other people do them. Like I'm not like as good in create a sim in my opinion. And like you are like your create a sim game is like awesome. Oh wow! I was like, how do they do Thank that? Thank you. I think I'm not good I at that at all. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I guess everybody like thinks they. Maybe we are just humble. I don't know, but I think I it's, think so. It's, um, yeah, everybody thinks like they're not as good, and then just you know, like other people always think, oh, it's so amazing, and yeah, and you you yourself always think, yeah, it's um me about like I don't know 10 minutes <laughs> yeah I think people are trying to be nice to me when they're like oh you're such a great builder I'm like I build a box what are you talking about <laughs> but I mean you can really build really well I mean I've seen it I um what was like the last thing that I thought this is like some next level sh stuff <laughs> um <laughs> Um, I guess it was like it was also something tropical, like a beach or something, like a beach resort. Oh, or I, Atlantis! I yeah, I did lost Atlantis. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that one was really really cool. Yeah, that was so fun. The only problem with these big lots like this, though, is they get laggy. Was you yeah. know when you put so many plants and so many rocks and so many objects, um, they look amazing, but they get a little bit hard to play in sometimes. Right. I mean, sometimes. With the water park that I did, it was like a 16 hour build. Oh my goodness. And at the end, like, I always have to save it, of course, like, between, so I don't really, like, lose, like, one hour or so. And it took about, like, <laughs> on peak, 30 minutes saving. Wow. Just saving. And I, it, it, that's, like, as long so you already think, like, oh my god, it just crashed. It just crashed. Did it crash? <laughs> should I, should I, like, exit the game or should I just wait? Yeah. That's, like, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So sometimes even my, like, laptop can handle it. But I think in gameplay it works all fine. I think it's just, like, when they have to save or something that they kind of do some, I don't know, like, in-game rendering or something. like. Yeah, you're probably right. Because in gameplay, it's like kind of fluent, like the the gameplay, um, yeah, it's like pretty good, in my opinion. Yeah. 
Mine crashed too. For this one, I start, I only spent like maybe 20 minutes on it, but the game crashed and I hadn't saved even one time and I was so upset. But once I did it again, I knew what I was doing. So it was a little bit easier. <laughs> yeah, like sometimes it's also cool because then you kind of can do it like better, like do it all over, but better because then you yeah. can like, yeah. I mean, that's also really cool. Oh yeah, here you can see me struggling with the, uh, with the, <laughs> with the tree houses. And that's like the same, I wanted to do the same like from the top to the bottom because I always think that's much more easier and you can do like these platforms here. And yeah, that was kind of a lot to, you know, putting the rooms there, looking how I'm going to do the border of the platform and everything. It's like, uh, that was kind of, that took a lot of time to figure out actually. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm going to have to try that though. Top to bottom. Good tip. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and like then I did like the tree afterwards because the trees are always like in the way and you can't really see where you are like building and everything. So yeah, at least that's that's what what it, how it was for me kind of to uh, that I couldn't put in like the tree already and like build around the tree, which I thought would be like the, the normal thing to do. You know, <laughs> if you build a tree house, you have to have a tree first. But yeah, I just realized that this is not possible because the tree that I wanted to use was like the, I guess it's like the debug one for the Sylvan Glade entrance or something. I guess, yeah, Sylvan, what is the hidden world called in Willow Creek? You know, I don't know. I don't actually play the game that often. <laughs> <laughs> I, I more build and then I just don't go in and play. <laughs> So yeah, they're, they're like these hidden worlds, but you know about them, right? Like, yeah. I, I've heard of them, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I might have used that tree. I think I might have used that tree in my in my part. Yeah, it's like the only one that has like wines, like... Yeah, from, yeah, yeah. From, yeah. The, from, the, from the branches. And I thought that's like the most jungle list, jungly <laughs> tree that I've ever seen. So let's use that one, kind of, um, yeah. So yeah, it's always like a little bit tricky, but I usually, like when I build, I do like the normal layout stuff. So I knew that I had to do the waterfall first because that's going to be like a huge thing on my side of the lot. And then I just build around it kind of, because that's like from big to small, I guess. That's like the basic way that I built yeah and I seen that you do it as well you also do like the boxes first and then <laughs> another box and like another annex and then another roof like then you have like the basic shape of the roof and then I mean in the last live stream that I visited you and by the way guys Stephanie is one who do, does like the best Sims live streamers in my opinion. Aww, like they're so entertaining. Thank you. Like literally, <laughs> I've seen like so many. I mean, I don't want to name names here, but I've seen like so many Sims like do live streams, and yours are always so much fun because I don't know how you do it, but you can like multitask. You can build or do something in the Sims, and you can still read the chat somehow. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. <laughs> it's because I live for the live streams. I'm not kidding when I say that. I live I live stream every Sunday night and I look forward to it all week. So I'm just super hyper and super excited and I don't know how I do it either. I just go. <laughs> it's so much fun though. I love it. I love it. <laughs> you should live stream more. I, I watched one of yours and I had so much fun. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm planning to do it more, but like for me, it's always because I'm living in Germany and like the most of my viewers are Americans or like from the USA. And yeah, like you already maybe <laughs> realize because uh, we have like six hours between us, basically. Yeah. So when I live stream, then usually or like after work or something, then it's like super like work time for you guys over there and yeah it's like a little bit hard to find like the time the right time to live stream kind of yeah think. i understand that but people will come i know i usually feel bad because when i live stream sunday nights it's usually like i don't know two or three in the morning in the uk and some of my viewers still come and i feel bad that i'm taking yeah. away sleep from them but <laughs> <laughs> there, there's people in all time zones they'll make time they'll find a way to come yeah, and also you can upload your live streams like as a video, yeah. so if they have missed something. Yeah, it's yeah. really fun. I think that's really, really cool on YouTube. Yep. Like, that for sure. <laughs> Definitely. So yeah, oh, is there something else to talk about? Oh yeah, right. Um, so midway through the build, 
I was like, didn't we say like Lost World Dinosaur Junk? <laughs> I don't know where the dinosaurs came from. You you came up with that. <laughs> because, it, oh yeah, okay, right. It was like, because I was referencing to Lost World because Lost World for me always like by the book and the movies that are like based on the book. And it's like this dinosaur underground jungle world, I guess. And then I was like just looking up for reference pictures and to send you and like for me and everything. And like if you put in like in Google Lost World, you get like tons and tons of Jurassic Park pictures. Oh. <laughs> because apparently one of the movies is like called Lost World, which I totally That's forgot. Right. And I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because... Okay, let's just put some dinosaurs in there. We have them. <laughs> when we first talked about it, I thought we were going to do more of like a, a magical fairy forest or an enchanted forest, uh, maybe for elves or something. And then when you came up with the dinosaurs, I was like, all right, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like so cool because we have like the toys, like yeah. from the base game, I guess. They even are base game toys and you can make them bigger. And then you have like little dinosaurs in there. And I have to admit that like one of the dinosaurs that I used, I guess they are just like a decorational object. They are not like a plushie that your Sims can interact with or something. So I kind of find it like a little bit, I don't know, like, yeah, useful and kind of a way I don't want like to put like a huge dinosaur in my kids like <laughs> room I don't know and this was finally the build where I could put in like this huge dinosaur figure <laughs> <kinda>. <laughs> they have that giant dinosaur in Oasis Springs I wonder if we can find that in by debug I didn't even look for it no I, I have looked I have looked for it no I didn't find it oh, that's but a shame. Um, you could use it like as a CC because I did like try out to create some CC like just re plain recoloring and if you have that's like with the tool it's I guess it's called Sims 4 studio? something yeah studio right and with that you can find every kind of object not even like the debug objects even more and there's like the little like not little but the huge um, dinosaur from the background in Oasis Springs and also lots and lots of other stuff so oh. it's actually pretty easy to just convert them into CC into a, like a package to download actually I didn't know that that's cool I was actually pretty shocked that nobody like did this because I was like looking for a CC like and it's already in the game you just have to convert it to the Sims 4 studio they don't have to model anything or create a mesh or something it's like just it's part of the game. Yeah. Neat. Very neat. But yeah, basically, if you are listening to this and you are ACC creator, we want these kinds of objects in the game, please. Give ACC. us dinosaurs. dinosaurs. <laughs> I mean, that would be really cool. You could put in like a... Um, what is it called? Oh my god. A slide? Yeah, a slide. You could put like a slide on the tail of this one dinosaur. <gasps> Oh, that's cute. We need slides for adults. I'm so happy we got the toddler slides, but I want them for adults and kids too. Yeah. How great would a water park be with functional slides? Oh yeah, and here you can see in the video that I did like a little petting zoo area with the flamingos because I never used Aww. the flamingos. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, okay, there's like a little pond for the flamingos. and It's so, so cute. <laughs> toddlers can learn about the environment or something, yeah, about animals or so. I thought that would be cool. And guys, if you also have the fitness stuff pack, there are these enormous climbing walls or whatever they are called. And I personally don't like them very much. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of them because they're so humongous. I, I don't know. It worked perfectly for this build, though. Yeah, it was yeah. perfect. Yeah, there's the one dinosaur, like looking <laughs> giant dinosaur. Giant, giant, and he's like looking so goofy. I actually like him. Like in this build, <laughs> the dinosaur is actually pretty cool. Like, what the hell is? He's a little bit stoned, I guess. Like it's a stoned <laughs> dinosaur. I love it. I love it. Oh, and I love what you did with these little stepping stones. I stole that idea yeah. on my side too. That's because <laughs> I've tested it and I've like put like a toddler in if they can get in. And if they get out, they come to the water and they will glitch and glide, like walk on the water. But it will be fine. They will be still controllable and everything. They won't glitch out. But they are walking on the water. So I thought I need these stepping things to kind of you know, make it logical again that they can walk on water. That's perfect. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so yeah, that's already the end of the video, I guess. 
um yeah thanks so so much for coming by and i guys if you want to download this you have to move over now to stephanie's video we will link to it in the video description also in the upper info box and i will be there too and we will continue our little talk yes right come see me <laughs> <laughs> come over come please, play please. come play with me <laughs> Thank you so much for having me, Fry. Thank you. Yeah, thanks so much for coming over. And I hope I can like invite you to uh, other videos as well. Maybe. Yeah. Of course. Yes. Are you kidding? Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Okay. So guys, I will see you in Stephanie's video. And thanks so much for watching. Here are your video shots of the whole lot. And I will see you soon. Bye bye. Bye.